Your meeting is now being recorded. Thank you. Okay, so good evening, Mr. Swenson. Mr. Garish, how are you, sir? Good, good. Perfect timing. So uh, we've started recording. We did the roll call. We have a quorum. Um, so we're going to start with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the, flag, flag the flag of the, of the United, United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, God individual, individual, with liberty with and justice for all. For all. <laughs> Item four, opening remarks. Um, I know the town manager is not on, so Superintendent Swenson, if you have anything. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Garish. Uh, just wanted to state that um, we have our uh, you know, weekly uh, meetings um, on Tuesday, which I'm sure Mike McNulty will speak to. Um, also that um, I've been down to the site a couple of times in the last uh, few weeks, and it's, it's exciting to see steel up um, they got uh, the steel going, and I just want to say that Manny has been uh, a wonderful host when we uh, get to the site and, um, you know, kind of walks us through what we're actually seeing in the process. I feel like it's a very well orchestrated uh, plan that, the, uh, that Bacon and Agostini have in, pla uh, have in place, uh, where they still have, you know, some land ex excavating going on while they're, you know, erecting the steel. So, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's quite a sight if anyone gets a chance to go, out, to go down there. And I think we are in uh, you know, a very good space in terms of um, schedule of time as to where uh, we were predicted to be. Because if I remember correctly, I thought, you know, I think you, we said by the second week of May or so, we would see steel. And um, we have uh, quite a bit in place now. So I, um, you know, would, would love to have anyone from the committee would like to go down to the site. Um, I'd be happy uh, to meet you down there or I uh, can come to my office and uh, we can shoot down and kind of walk around the site a little bit. I get you a hard hat and everything. So um, uh, open open invitation to anyone in the committee, but just want to thank everybody, um, you know, from our OPM to construction to the architects. Everyone uh, is, is, is working in unison and, and it's a great team effort. And I think we're in really good shape at this uh, stage in the uh, project. So thank you. Great, thanks for the update. All right, item five, approval of the previous meeting minutes from April 12th, 2021. To approve. Second. Second, this is. Nope, go ahead, Mike. Nope, <laughs> it's all you, Lil. <laughs> so, who made the motion? Mark. Okay, thank you. And, and who seconded it, Lil? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, John. Uh, I'll, uh, I guess we'll take the roll. Um, hold on one second, John. Sorry, I'll do that. Um, John. Yes. Lil. Yes. Matt Rushton. Uh, I'll just take an abstention, Michael. Okay. Stain. Um, Joe. Yes. Joe is a yes. Scott. Yes. Uh, let me just change the screen. And I vote yes as well. The minutes are passed. Five. Of, oh, sorry, Mark. Yeah. Um, yes. I apologize. Um, six in favor, one abstention. We have our minutes. All right, thank you. Item six, approval of Bacon payment requisition number four. 
vote is required. So we'll, I guess, turn it over to Mike. Sure. Um, so this was distributed, uh, you know, with the draft of the presentation. I'll share my screen. I think. Uh, oh. Uh, yep, so, you know, reviewed by RDA and us, um, approved by RDA, also initialed by me um, for the final review. There were a few revisions that we had asked for that were made. Um, this covers um, the period to the end of April, which is our fourth period. Um, the payment amount is $1,408,948. Um, so if there's any questions, let me know. Uh, if not, I guess uh, I can't make the motion, but. Right. So does anybody have any uh, any questions or any discussion on this uh, pay request? And if not, um, you know, we would make a motion referencing payment number four and the amount. Motion to approve payment number four for the total of four hundred and seventy um forty seven thousand, sorry. No. Forty seven thousand no, one hundred and fifty. No. The line one above million. that scroll down, Mike. Uh, uh, I can't see it. It's, it's one million four hundred and eight thousand nine hundred and forty eight dollars. All right, Lil, I'll take that as a motion. <laughs> Do I have a second? Matt Russian second. Matt Rush, and we have a second. All right, we'll do the roll. John. Yes. Bill. Yes. Matt Rushton. Yes. Joe. Yes. Scott. Yes. Mark. Yes. I vote aye. That is seven in favor. None against. All right, thank you. Item seven, OPM update. All right, thank you, John. I've already shared our presentation. Uh, so as Derek mentioned, we continue our weekly meetings on Tuesday. They're at 1 p.m., uh, so we have one tomorrow. Um, MSBA is actually joining us virtually for that meeting, they're going to be on the call, um, sitting in to our meeting. You know, um, not necessarily participating, but then we have a meeting with them after that meeting uh, to review separate items with MSBA. Uh, one of which being the finalized 3011 budget. Um, we still only have the draft that we produced. Uh, the last MSBA, uh, up, the last MSBA update on when we would have that is mid-May. That was their update from last week. Uh, so we still expect it mid-May and that'll be a topic of our meeting with them tomorrow. Um, they can continue to provide us updated three week look ahead schedules. The next slide is the latest of that. Um, that's reviewed weekly in our meetings. Um, we continue steel erection in part A, which we have some good photos of coming up. Um, in other areas, uh, you know, part A is sort of the furthest along, right? In other areas, we still do have some foundation work, um, and then we have site work throughout the rest of the site. Uh, testing inspections continue. Big item is retaining wall number one. That installation is ongoing. We have some, some good photos of uh, the waterproofing ongoing there. Uh, a small quantity of the main exterior brick, the one that occurs the most on the outside of the building, has been ordered to come to the site. Uh, they're gonna make a, a sample panel with that, uh, with the uh, grout that was selected uh, so that we can get a, a sense of uh, seeing how that looks in person uh, before final approval on the full order. Uh, safety has been great on this project. We have no lost time incidents, uh, really no major issues. Any, any small issues or um, uh, you know, things that have been pointed out have been taken care of right away, usually on the spot. Um, Great. Our next pre-con, yeah, I mean, really it's just been little things like rebar uh, that's been installed without caps, you know, little safety caps that go on top. And, um, you know, we're, we're sort of chasing them right after they install it. And, uh, 
you know, really, sometimes it's just been a matter of they haven't put them on yet because it's so new, uh, but they've jumped right on everything. Our next pre-con uh, meeting with a new subcontractor is for the flat work. That's the concrete slabs for the floors. Uh, a very, a very different installation than the concrete we have on site for the foundations. Um, that's why we have a separate meeting for that. And like I said, tomorrow's our next weekly meeting. So onto the three week look ahead, we still sort of have our same major subs from last month, but the, the big difference is the steel is really ramped up. So we still have Catalano um, installing or you know, grading the site, installing underground systems. Uh, we have some good photos of the larger systems going in, coming up, continuing with the concrete work, which includes the rebar and the uh, forms and the concrete itself. Uh, along with that, we have the mechanical contractors installing sleeves in the concrete um, so that they can coordinate their penetration. It's a lot easier than coring after the fact. Uh, then steel installation continues um, and the waterproofing follows at the foundation walls. And it, it, Derek uh, already mentioned we are tracking right on or slightly ahead of the overall schedule at the time, at the moment. Onto the site photos, some impressive uh, forming of walls there um, and uh, some of the larger underground systems going in here. Infiltration system number one. Some of the steel columns going up first and then we see how some of the cross beams are going up. This is all part A. More underground structures, the site work. Um, and then we see the waterproofing going on the retaining wall. All stuff that gets buried eventually. Okay, we have the memorial tree relocated and protected. Uh, just a, a more general panoramic view of the site. So schedule and milestones, um, you know, this basically just takes us through the next three weeks. As I said, we are tracking on schedule for the overall schedule. Upcoming meetings, we're continuing second Tuesday of the month. So next meeting will be June 14th. And that is my last slide. Um, so any question on any of the update? Um, so you had two more slides on the budget, total project budget. Do we need to go over that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I do have them. I, the key I was hitting to scroll down just wasn't going there for a second. I think I froze. Um, so no major updates here. I mean, the next, I mean, as we spend money, this is getting updated, but as far as uh, confirming the final 3011 budget through MSBA, like I said, we still anticipate them getting back to us mid-May, you know, in the next week, but we do have that meeting with them tomorrow afternoon where that'll be a big topic of our conversation of, of when to expect that. Then our other budget slide just shows a, a snapshot of where we are with reimbursement with MSBA. And this is our draft effective reimbursement rate. This is based on our version of the 3011 that we created based on actual values that, that we think is accurate to one or 2%. Um, but again, we're, we're waiting for MSBA still. I see Mark has raised his hand. Yes, um, my question is about, um, I, I watch the council meetings and they always ask about the financial calculator. Is, is there, do we have the information that we can give to the town to put it in? The yeah, so the, the information that would go in that is the 3011 budget, uh, which we do have the draft of, and that's, that's where, you know, it kind of spit out this percentage here. Um, but I, I think we thought that waiting for the final version from MSBA before it gets posted to the tax calculator was, you know, made the most sense. And we're so close now, um, you know, we'll have, we'll get the update from MSBA tomorrow, but I, you know, we anticipate. Oh, they, they'll give it tomorrow. So we have a meeting with MSBA tomorrow to talk about this, uh, but their last update from last week was that we would see um, the budget back from them mid-May. 
uh, which we're basically at right now. So uh, that'll start our conversation with them tomorrow to see if there's and we can have a commitment on a day. Yeah, we definitely need that because I think the last five meetings we'll talk about that question. Yeah, and Mike, John, if I could, um, sure. Mark, this is Mike Dolan. Um, we will, once that number comes in, we'll get that to the town and make sure our website links directly to the town site for that calculator. Um, we do recognize the importance of it. Um, we want people to be able to figure it out, but we want them to figure it out with good, accurate data. Um, so that's why we're we're sort of at the uh, at the schedule of MSBA, if you would. Any other questions? Yeah, Michael, I just had a, a general question. Um, is there any um, um, concern over availability of materials that's on the critical path, you know, due to the pandemic? Yeah. So we got really lucky with metal decking. That's, um, you know, sort of, that's one of the products I've seen on other projects causing issues. And we, we, were, we got that in early. Um, there's potential for the like age metal frame or for the cold formed framing. Um, but, you know, having been alerted to that sort of early on in the project, you know, our contractors, you know, has that in mind and has built that into their procurement. So we're seeing some middles a little earlier than we usually would on things like that. Um, so, so far, so good, right? We're, they're being nimble and proactive. Um, so no impacts yet, uh, although it is, you know, it's a tough situation with, um, you know, the materials climate right now. Uh, but I, you know, I've been saying on other projects that we got lucky on Bridgewater um, and, and I, I think we did so far. Okay, good. I'm, I'm not hearing anything. I just thought I'd ask, just hearing it in the news and we're curious. Any, um, any other questions for um, Michael? All right. I guess um, item eight, designer update. Hi everyone. Hey Gene. We, um, I'm gonna say it's just a, um, which is probably a good thing, right? It's kind of a boring uh, update. Um, things are just continuing, um, you know, a pace. John's out there two or three times a week. I think he's solving problems. We're, um, we're processing submittals and answering RFIs. Um, I think we're keeping pace really well. Um, the, um, I know Steve um, has been coming over to my desk every once in a while asking about uh, various materials. So uh, as I mentioned last month, we're going to be um, at some point asking you to reconvene the, the design committee uh, because we'll be going through you know, again, the patterns, the colors on the interiors. <clears throat> we, um, we have a brick panel that's, uh, I think the bricks have been ordered. So sometime before your next meeting, uh, there'll be a panel on site that has uh, the brick colors, the accent colors, the um, ground face block colors, all kind of put together in one panel. We did have a, um, a touch base uh, meeting you know, last week or the week before with some of the members of the design committee because um, the original brick we had selected, I can't remember if I mentioned it to you all or if we even knew last month, but um, what ends up happening sometimes, especially with light colored brick is um, as they move around the clay pit and they're, they're digging uh, the clay to fire the brick, sometimes it comes out a slightly different color uh, and we found that that was um, what occurred. Um, we had a sample of what we had specified. Uh, and then we had a sample of the same brick, but using the clay that they're pulling out of the pit right now. And it was um, uh, not 
kind of the same color that uh, that we thought it was going to be. So we had some other brick that's a no cost change, uh, and we wanted to run that by the uh, the design committee, which which we did. And so uh, Lil and and Dennis and Michael, um, you know, that's the those are the bricks that'll you'll see in the panel uh, when it gets constructed sometime in the next couple of weeks. But really, just everything is, um, and I, just, I mean, I got to say, you know, John, John gets a lot of credit for this. He does a hell of a lot of administration and solving problem solving, and uh, so everything's going very smoothly on our end. Thank you, John. <laughs> He's back there. I can see him. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. We're looking forward. I mean, I know Derek. You know, Derek said that uh, the steel's up. So right now, from what I what I understand, you know, the the cafeteria, the steel's up, and the and the classrooms above it, and it's kind of everything from the kitchen to where the stage starts. Is that is that about right? Yep. So it won't be too long before we can see the whole the whole thing. You know. Well, Gene, let me let me ask this question of the committee and and get your input too. Um, you know, I had been thinking up to this point, it was too premature to maybe plan to have the committee go out as a committee, um, which is, you know, quite a few people. So we'd have to plan that with the team and the uh, the contractor. But do you think it's too early to get out? Um, do you think the brick panel sample is the time to go? What, what do you think? Um, I th uh I almost feel, John, it's it's probably a little a little later if it were me, just because I'd like to see more of it. <laughs> you know, being yep. a, being an architect, to be honest, say, oh wow, cool, that's the lobby, that's the stage, that's the gym. But I don't want to speak for the committee, or and I don't want to speak for the, uh, you know, for Mike and the and the OPM team and the and the builder. You know, I don't know how big a rigmarole it is to. Uh, to have people on the site and, and walking through and giving tours. Uh, you have any thoughts, John? Or? Um, I, I would say when they when they get the steel um, in, in building A done, then, then you'll have two floors to walk on and you'll be able to see how it progresses into B. Maybe three weeks to a month from now is, is probably a good time. And, what, and what's building A? It's the calf, the gym. And that's it, the calf and the calf gym. And, gym. and then in building B, you get into the lobby. The lobby and building C, you get into the pre-K. So, yeah, I would say three three weeks or so from now. Maybe okay. before the next meeting. Yeah, I just want to open it up to the committee. I mean, um, I know if I wasn't in the business, I would be interested in seeing how things are put together, you know, before they have the walls of closed up so um what what do the uh committee committee members think what, what is their level of interest and in when they would like to go out i'd definitely like to see it and i may take derek up on his offer before that like to see it i got my own heart at <laughs> I like to see it as well, and um, but more when more framing is up and such to be able to have a, a better concept. Okay. I mean, you know, it's it's really kind of, I guess it's kind of up to you know Mike McNulty, his team, and 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 uh, and the contractor. You know, I don't know what the insurance requirements are. For, uh, I mean, I. I'd have to check with our office on insurance, but I, I don't think there's an issue with that. Uh, it's a pretty light lift with the way the site is right now. Uh, you know, we have Manny there full time. Uh, Lissa's there. Uh, you know, I'd pop in for this. Um, you know, I'd, I'd say it's up to the committee. Um, it, it's not like you have three visits over the course of the project and you're, you're going to burn one and regret it later. Um, you know, it's, <laughs> Uh, the, the one thing you do have to consider, though, is that it needs to be after hours. It has to be after three o'clock. Definitely. It can't yeah. be there when, when they're working. That would be a that would be difficult to accomplish, especially with the, the level of 
danger of the work that they're working on now. Once it's closed in a little bit, and that's a different set. But right now, there should be no one on that site while they're working. It, 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 it would be a bad thing, I think. Sure. So, John, if I could, with the next meeting being the um, the 14th at 630, what if, if we can, as a committee, meet at, say, 4 or 430 um, and do a tour and then we all disperse, go home and, and hop on Zoom for the 630 call? Yeah, you... you... I would. I don't think an hour and a half is enough. You, you, you but don't. Good okay. idea to do it the, that day, somewhere between three and four o'clock of that day might work for you, as long as bacon can accommodate it. Yep. Well, um, that sounds good, uh, Mike. What, maybe we should do this. Maybe we get it on the radar so people can be thinking about it, and then um, maybe at the next meeting we could settle on a date and the time that works for everybody. I don't, I don't think it has to be on a, a meeting date, but um, maybe we could firm it up then and we'd have a better look ahead of what activities are gonna be going on. And it'd be hard for us to get back here and up on the Zoom. Yeah, I mean, that takes some kids. Maybe, maybe the week before, cause it'd be hard for John and I to get back to the office and hop on the Zoom. So, uh, yeah. Whatever, maybe, maybe sometime the week before, and then we can all chat about it during the meeting. You know? um, I'm very excited because my my little black book is is made in uh, Great Britain, so June 14th is the Queen's birthday. <laughs> Just so you know. Nice. <laughs> I have a British neighbor. We were joking that they get two Mother's Day because it. British Mother's Day is a different day, but they celebrate American Mother's Day too. <laughs> so are we thinking three and a half weeks from now is, is enough activity? Yeah. Will it be far enough along that? Uh... I mean, there's already some exciting stuff there to see, but like John said, by then you'll be able to see the structure of some of the, the you know, big spaces okay so that is uh so that would be the week of the seventh all right well why don't um maybe i can work with michael on that and we'll get a couple of days thrown out and uh the exact time frame and we'll see We'll get it out and see who's available and what the interest is. That sound okay? Sounds good. All right, thank you. Was that it for the um, designer update, Gene? I kind of hijacked that. No, I, I just I really don't have to, you know things are going yep. well. I think I think the next you know really as I keep, I've said a couple times, but you know we'll start picking colors inside and patterns and. I, I assume we'll work with the subcommittee and then come back and give a report or a recommendation to the to the full committee. Otherwise, um, we're just doing our thing. All right. Any questions for the designer? I have a question. Sure. Um, Jean, a lot of teachers in school have been asking me about, I know it's probably too early for this, about furniture or things we'd be able to bring with us. Yes. All going to be new. It's been a big topic of conversation, and I told them I'd ask. Right. Them. Uh, it it is all going to be new, uh, Lisa. Okay. It, was that the was that the question? That was the question. Yeah, because some people, you know, they have stools, they have bookcases, they have, um, you know, sundry items that they have that they are using now in the old uh, high school, and we just didn't know whether any of that would come or it would be all. I thought it was going to be all new, but you know, all new furniture. Don't bring anything with you except for. Your... We give them a Kleenex box and tell them that's what they Kleenex can bring. Box? Oh, okay, okay. No, but and it's not us; it's Derek and uh, and the principal. They're they're the ones that don't want the old stuff in the building. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I will say, you know, it may go it may go back to the school department, Lisa, because. Okay. 
you know, maybe there's some, we don't, we don't want to say, Hey, don't bring, you know, special stuff that you have, you know, yeah. but, but the intent, the budget kind of covers all new tables, all new chairs, all new kind of, uh, you know, library equipment, science equipment, kind of whatever you need, you know? I kind of thought so. I was just confirming for them. Thanks. Yeah. And then just to remind you, um, the school we're opening up in September, furniture is being delivered in August, right? A month before. And we started working in earnest about January. So probably about eight, nine, 10 months before we will, you know, there's no reason to do it now because all the model numbers are going to change and all the, all the things are going to change between, but about, you know, eight, nine, 10 months before we'll start getting together with whatever committee you have for furnishings. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Anyone else? All right, moving on to item nine, report of the communication group. Yeah, just a couple of things um, we have. Uh, we'll continue to work on a, um, the beam for the topping off uh, for the kids to sign. We'll work on where that's going to be for people to sign, and then they'll erect it with a Christmas tree on top and do their traditional um, ceremony, I guess. Um, the only other thing we have is we, we've seen on the residents' pages of Facebook uh, the neighbors are um, uh, lamenting about some things that have happened recently, and they're not reaching out to the OPM. All of the neighbors, the abutters, have been given a phone number to call. They should make use of that phone number. Um, if anyone contacts any of you during the day, throughout the day, in the middle of the night, that number is there for them to reach out to. Um, encourage them not to go to Facebook um, because frankly, it doesn't do any good on Facebook, especially the residence page. Um, they're not coming to the project page. Um, so it, it's, I, I get it. Some things have happened, some late night deliveries of steel, some early morning work. All of those things need to be brought to the OPM's attention and putting it on Facebook doesn't get it there. So it's important that we as a committee reiterate that to the neighbors and anyone really um, when, when they bring that to Facebook. The, there's, they've been given a, a channel to communicate with and they should make use of that. It's also, it shouldn't be intimidating because, you, you know, the people at Daedalus are, are open to getting these calls and, and they need to know that. You know, to right. be scared. Just yeah. and, and Joe have, and Mike has met with them right. um, on more than one occasion. So, sorry, Mike, I didn't mean to cut you off. Well, I was just going to say that, that you know the level of comfort should be there because we have already contacted them, and uh, you know, me, I've met with them. Joe's met with them. Um, right. So, okay. But that, that's all I've got, John. All right, any questions? All right, item 10 is the next Mitchell Elementary School Building Committee meeting and it's on June 14th. Notwithstanding anything we set up um, to go out there. Item 11, new business. Does anybody have any new business? I just had something for Mike Dolan. Um, Mike, when, sure, when yeah. was, I see, I'm on the residence page, so I see, I saw what occurred. Mm. Was it on the yep. weekend? <laughs> <laughs> and it tends to go downhill. Do you, yes. do you want me to put a link to the, to the page, to the building committee page on there? Or do you want me, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to comment other than that. Is that helpful or not? 
I think it is helpful. I, I just, again, to, to your point, it goes downhill from there. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I think that that's, that's the problem. And that's one of the reasons why I'm not on Facebook, one of many. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, and that's the other piece of that is if any of you feel you want to post it on your personal pages, on Towns pages, by all means, the website, our Facebook page, they're all there. Um, Derek and Mr. Dutton do a great job at all of their, um, uh, either the council meetings or the school committee meetings, pointing people to the, that information. Um, it just, the neighbors, for whatever reason, felt like they wanted to go to the residency page to, to air a grievance. And, and that's fine. They're perfectly yeah. able and to do that, but we have to, as a committee, hold hold our ground on all of the information is there for you you just have to go look for it um and it's not difficult to find no. i promise <laughs> yeah mike if i may i i had we had good luck with that when it came to misinformation around the vote where yep. it came to it was very simple to you know you, you don't have to in, engage for any particular thing you really just yeah, if if you're ever on there and you see something, any any you know, just just put the link out and say for more information on this, or if you want to contact them, you should you should go on here and 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 that's it, and then leave it at that, and that way at least they maybe somebody says, oh okay, why don't I do that? You know? And yep. you know, to their credit, I have to say one of the neighbors did yeah. go on and say they have a website, they have a Facebook page. Um, they keep us up to date with everything. And why don't you go there for the information? He wrote this long thing. So to his credit, um, one of the abutters did step in at that point. Mark? As far as the other page, 02324, I moderate it. So I don't let it on there. <laughs> if you want official stuff to go on there from this committee, I'll put it up and turn off commenting. So anytime you need that, I'm glad to do it. Okay. I usually share the meeting, you know, the construction when once it gets posted on school project and sometimes the meetings and, you know, I, I, I'm, I watch it. So. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. Okay. Item 12 is public comment. No public comments. All right. Is there anything else before we adjourn? Okay, so on the topic of um, visiting the site, I'm going to uh, coordinate with um, Michael McNulty, and then I'll get word out to the committee, um, you know, sufficiently in advance to be able to plan that and settle on a date and time. And we'll get it posted as a public meeting, as we will with any other committee meeting. And I'll, I'll coordinate that because it can't be a public meeting. Hmm. All right, I'll have to work that out. But we'll get it posted if we assemble and, you know, and enough members to have to post it. All right, if, if, if nobody has anything, then I guess uh, we would take a motion to adjourn. And I thank everybody. Motion to adjourn. Lil. Second, Matt Rushton. All Roll right. Call. John. Yes. Lil. Yes. Matt. Yes. Joe. Yes. Scott. Yes. Mark. Yes. I vote aye. We are adjourned. All right. Thank Hello, you, everybody. Everyone. Have a good night, folks.